Next up are charts. So I am going to have a blank page and hopefully by now you'll know that to get the chart, you click on the plus and it will actually be over here. So there's lots of different types of charts. So you have bar charts, pie charts, 3D charts, um, which are nice. You have interactive charts as well. Um, so I will can put one of those as well that allows um, for some interactivity in there. So this, for example, I can have it so if I click through, it'll move. I'm going to just stick with basic charts for now. So I'm going to go for here and I'm going to go for a pie chart. So the pie chart ends up coming in here. You might be wondering where you change things like the color. It's up in paintbrush. There's different styles that are in here. So you can change the styles of them. You can change the colors of them. You can arrange them back, forth, resize them. If I click on chart, so I'm going to go for this like yellow colored one, you can edit the data, you can give it titles, you can show the legend, which will explain basically what's in here. So this is months, so that legend shows the months in here. I want to edit the series or the data. I'll show you the difference between both of those. You will have options such as rotate in there as well. If I click on series, that is um, the series of months. So it's basically what data you're generating percentages or values for. So if I tap on any one of those, so I don't have a December, so I'm going to change April um, to a different one in a moment, but I don't want it to be yellow. I want it to be something like blue. So I can change the color in there. I can change a gradient or an image as well. So in here, I have my fill, I have a stroke. I can change the distance from the center, which will actually move it out. Sometimes that can be useful for illustrating something. I can change my labels, um, formats, basically everything you can do normally with charts you can do in here. And then what I wanna do is I want to just tap here and I wanna change the data. So this is where I would change things like the text. So I'm going to change this one to December. I think I said December already. It would be useful if I could spell December. And I'm gonna click done. And we're actually gonna up this so that September has like 200 in here. So previously the blue one would have had the most data and now the red or dark red one will. And you can see this has changed. My December is up there as well. So the series, just to remember the two of those, the series is the colors of these individual items, but not the names of them. And then the data is the percentages or the information that it receives in here so you can change this data depending on what you have um, you can put additional regions in there if you want as well so that is what a pie chart looks like i'm just going to show you what that might look like if i change the style of this one to a 3d column so with 3d columns you can move them around which is fun and if I was to change it again, so I'm just gonna tap, once you have these in, you can change them to anything you want. So I think the key is to get the information in there first, and I'm going to go for an interactive bubble. And I don't really have the data in here um, for me to do this very well, but if I did, that would obviously move around. So it is really easy to put in charts. Um, you don't need any additional spreadsheets or other apps to go in there. It will all work within Keynote.